You do know why Lucas brought you in here today, right? So I could have built you. Uh, straightforward. I like that. I'm sure you're using them as much as they're using you. I got to meet RSJ, right? What's your name? I'm Tariq St. Patrick. To meet you, Tariq. Tariq. Would the late, great James St. Patrick be an example of how our kind of people can pull themselves up by their own bootstraps? I think what Lucas was trying to say. Yeah, I, I think we're, we're getting off topic. When my dad passed away, we were so broke, all I inherited were good examples. I heard you have an estate. Do something smart with it. Yeah, what's your old man? The QCP building your father left you. From what I was told, it couldn't be taken out of the trust. So, if I sign with Weston Holdings, it's mine. Yes. Send the paperwork to my office. Treek's a little junior for a trip like this. But not too junior to get my business? African-American intern in meetings with me, but not the Italians. If I extend an invitation to Tariq, considering he's the only one in this room who speaks Italian. It's true. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't familiar with your story. Your father. Well, no one really knew my father. Sounds like he had at least two faces. One public, one private. Well, isn't everybody like that? Huh. My father? He was a petty criminal. Everybody told me I was gonna end up like him. You're just like your father. But I didn't let their expectations box me in. I chose my own route. I hope you do the same. I made all of my dreams happen. It's the truth! No one or nothing can stop it. Shit. You can never go back. When we met, what'd you think I was gonna be? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today we're gonna be talking about Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3. Did RSJ know Ghost? Is there some type of connection between the two? Of course, this is a fan theory, so we will be going over the facts that we do have about RSJ. And down below, I want you guys to discuss if you believe that this fan theory is true. I mean, throughout the last couple episodes, we've been seeing a little bit more about RSJ. And I swear, every time we see him, he always brings up Tariq's father. You know what I'm saying? Why is he continuing to do this? Well... You know, some people say maybe he is connected to Ghost or maybe he just knew him or whatever. And this is why he continues to bring him up. I think eventually we're going to find out. I will say this. I think it is two sides of RSJ. Of course, we see the business side of him right now, but I think it's a dark side. And eventually, just like any other character in power, we shall see that. Now, you guys, make sure you check out my last power video. I dropped the Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3, Episode 6. What to expect video. You already know. It's about to be Lorenzo's funeral. We should be seeing, you know, grandma come back into play and have a conversation with Tariq. And then we're going to see Tariq and Effie finally have that conversation about what she really did to Lauren and why she lied to him. Definitely cannot wait to see it. And you guys don't want to miss it. And also, if you want to follow your boy on IG, check out my new Instagram page at MarkDarkTV YouTube. Yes, I had to start over, but it's cool. You know what I'm saying? They played your boy, but I'm back. We're going to build those followers right back up in no time. But let's talk about the topic of discussion, RSJ, the ghost connection. And as we go through this video, I will talk about the parallels between RSJ and ghosts. Because it's a lot of them. We know RSJ is a very smart businessman. We know Ghost was smart too. And he ran his own business with Truth Nightclub. And we know Ghost, he's about to take over the politics game. But he got taken out by his son, Tariq. And speaking of politics, we know that Rashad Old Dog Tate, he knew some intel about RSJ. He gave Tariq some advice on what he needs to do in order to make that deal with him, which ended up working. But we know when RSJ first met Tariq and got his name, that's when he started to change up a little bit as far as his conversations with Tariq. All of a sudden, he started bringing up James St. Patrick, which lets us know that he's done his research, his homework on Tariq. And for him to even know Tariq you know, spoke Italian, 
that was another key element. Like, okay, so this dude's definitely been doing his homework. And we know James St. Patrick, he used to do the exact same thing, especially when it came to making business deals with somebody or he had to take somebody out. He wanted to know all the information before he made that deal, which why I believe that's another parallel between both of these characters. And I mean, what's the chances of RSJ taking over the old QCP property? Like really? He knew about it and he told Tariq, look, I know your pops left it for you. And Tariq made that deal with him in order for RSJ to attain it, right? Now, we also know that RSJ is a straight shooter. He's straightforward. And these are the words that came right out of RSJ's mouth. I mean, he told Tariq this, right? And he's, you know, telling him like, look, I know your story. I'm not going to act like I don't know it. And once again, he brings up his pops. Talking about it sounds like he had two faces, one public, one private, and he's not lying. He's definitely not lying. And I don't think it's just Ghost that had two faces. I think RSJ has two faces as well. Just like Tariq told him, he says, doesn't everybody, you know what I'm saying? So I believe that could be another parallel that RSJ has another side to him, just like Ghost had another side to him, just like Tariq and everybody else. And for RSJ to tell Tariq, like, look, you know what I'm saying? My pops was a you know a criminal you know what i'm saying i don't want to be like him of course people was telling me like look that's exactly what i'm going to be but that's not the case i'm going to choose a different route and he's putting that on Tariq, telling him you don't have to be like that either you can choose that different route but Tariq has been doing the exact same thing he's been following his pops footsteps and goes he was trying to stop Tariq from living his lifestyle but Tariq, he wanted to live it and now he is seeing that his pops was right all along. That is not worth it. And now it's even harder for Tariq to step away, seeing how he's dealing with the Tejada family and even worse, Noma and her organization. They're not playing around with him. So even though he knows all this information about what he needs to do, Tariq finds himself doing the exact opposite. And then he gets pissed off every time somebody tells him, you just like your pops. I mean, we know grandma go telling this this season, probably in this next episode, we know Tommy told him this time and time again. He even told Ghost Tariq was like him. And Tariq told Ghost himself he is him. So Tariq knows what time it is. It's just so difficult for him to do what he needs to do. And taking another route like RJ told him is not going to be easy. Now, as I told you guys, it is a lot of similarities and parallels between RSJ and Ghost. I could see Ghost moving very similar to RSJ as far as the business world. And we've seen that time and time again in the original series on how James St. Patrick operates, right? Now, a lot of people wants to know, is there some type of connection? Did he know Ghost? Did he know that James St. Patrick was Ghost? And it goes back to what Courtney Kent was talking about, you know, a few years ago, saying that not everybody knew who Ghost was. Only the people that was connected to him that was in close circles knew who he was. A lot of people knew who James St. Patrick was, the person, but not who Ghost was. But RSJ, the way that he talks, it makes it seem like he knows him. By telling Tariq, it sounds like your father had two faces, right? So I can see why people would believe that. On top of that, as I told you guys, this dude, he stayed talking about Tariq's father. And at first I was like, okay, I mean, it is what it is. He probably just did his research. There's no biggie or whatever. But once he kept bringing him up, I'm looking like, man, like, come on. You talking more about his father than any of the new characters that we got in Power Book 2 Ghosts. And I'm talking about as far as the Tejada family and all the other new characters. This man has mentioned, you know, his pops a whole lot. A lot of people wanted to know, was it going to be a connection between Ghosts and the Tejada family? We already talked about this as far as what Lorenzo may or may not know about Ghosts. That never happened. We never seen anything about that. And it was stated that we would probably see it, but we didn't. And it's a lot going on in the show. So I'm believing that they don't have all the time to give us everything that they want to give us. And this was already stated that it's a lot that they have to take out in order to make sure we get, you know, that content in the time frame that they're giving us. But this whole Ghost and RSJ connection, man, I would not be surprised if he did know more than what he's putting off. I mean, he's not going to, you know, show his full hand, but... I think eventually if he is connected or if he does have any more intel, it will be revealed, hopefully. And regardless if he knew James St. Patrick or not, I still believe that RSJ has some type of, you know, a past on him and he did some illegal activity. He pretty much made hints at that to Tariq in the last episode. So I want to see what's going to happen with this character. 
Usually when we get characters like a RSJ and any other mainstream character, they always got some dirt on them. I just don't believe he's just squeaky clean and he's just a good businessman. It's just not going to happen. He may mess around and be the most dangerous person on the show. I mean, we just don't know. But I want y'all to leave your theories, predictions. Leave it all down below. Do y'all believe that RSJ knew Ghost? Is there some type of connection? I hope so, man. I hope this dude did know Ghost. And now he wants to, you know, bring in Tariq to try to make sure Tariq is doing what he has to do. You can tell that he wants to make sure Tariq is doing the right thing and he wants to make sure that he's making, you know, good moves down the line and not screw up and make sure that Tariq does not end up like his pops. And we know RSJ, he says that he don't want to be like his pops. But then again, that dude could be worse. I mean, he could. So we're going to see what time it is. But I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support. Remember to leave those fan theories down below. We may go over some more of those fan theories this week. I know a lot of you guys have been talking about Salim. Some of you guys have been talking about Noma's uh, daughter or whatever and who she may be. I mean, it's all types of different crazy fan theories. So we may go over those um, this week. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.